the light of my life right now. Okay, so this is a match out of Pool 14. This is Anyway versus Trella. It's the second round, so after this, the anyone is guaranteed to make it out of pool is the winner of this. I'm, uh, I apologize that I don't know what's going on. That's fine. Oh, okay. I apologize they don't know what's going on, but uh, what game is this? This will be the first game. All right, They're game just one, starting off. Trailer versus Inui. Now, this matchup, I usually call it um, about even. It's, it's technically in Meta Knight's favor, but uh, because of Lucario's power up when he gets high damage. Yeah, if you go by straight standards, you see that Trella is obviously the better of the two players recently because he's been. And uh, Ch Chibo pointing out that the last time they played, uh, Inui was the victor. That's exactly what I was just going to say. So, you know, Trella's been placing really well the last couple of months, doing extremely well. But, you know, Inui always pulls out upsets when he can. And uh, th this, this is a great stage to take Lucario to because that platform runs around. Oh my gosh, and that was terrible DI by Inui didn't know where he was going. I think he was playing another game for about five seconds. And uh, dyslexia damage there, 69.96. Anyway, flying up high Trella above the stage. real solid right now. Trella has, I mean, I watched him play with Ritu King in the doubles matches. Yeah, he's been playing with MTK and Trella, all day. He knows how to operate. Trella, not match. only is he playing well, but he's very, very fast and tricky. He's, he's so too. He has so he's many ideas. The things that he lures people into are sometimes like, um, you know you can sell for that, right? Because you shouldn't have, but you yeah. do. And you see, look, he just went, he's going for things that you would consider gimmicky. But, like, the side B, that's a common Lucario tactic. Just because it works. It's amazing how well it works. And it, kill an enemy it, really it, early. it functions as an aerial grab. Well, it functions as a ground landing grab, rather, I should say. Um, and a lot of Lucarios will do the F air to dodge in. If somebody's sitting in their shield, they'll condition them to sit in their shield to block moves. And then they'll do the jump in, dodge in, and get the forward B while they're still sitting in shield. A lot of characters just don't know how to respond to Lucario. He's not a matchup that you see very often, so when you do, it's usually somebody really good and you get a little bit nervous. It doesn't seem the case to be the case with Inui, though. Inui's got a calm face. He looks calm. He's playing calm. He doesn't want to rush into anything. Yep, and... and but Chella's just hitting him with small things. That's just widening the gap. Exactly right. You can't rush in. This is the most dangerous Lucario will be the entire game. It's when he has the lead and a stock up on you. Because he is yeah, so powerful. He doesn't even look like this close to dying, so Trella could just slide this gap amazingly. And that was a good drop off by Inui, knowing that Trella had to get up. He was just gonna, he was gonna try to set up Anna. That was a perfect up beat, perfect Ooh, space. Inui hit him with the dirty bird. What do you know? We got an 82% lead. Inui wants to see if he can do something. Just try to get in there. And Trella just, little song, song. Trella just sitting there very patiently with the horror sphere. Um, and the, the Aura Sphere, people don't give enough credit. You can it make them come to you. It seems once, but he's still getting hit. He's getting a quick, almost 30%. Yeah, Tra Trailer knows before. Meta Knight, I yeah. think. And Inui, I, I don't think Inui does anything beyond, much beyond the generic Meta Knight. I mean, he's very good he's at what he does. generic Meta Knight number four with a little bit of intelligence. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing special or unique that Inui's it's known nice for. Anime watching, if you know yeah, that. that's true. Trello with a nice kill. Solid stock. Only get better for Lucario as he gets the up. Inui made a, made a bad read there with the dive, dive off Nair. And, and what? Oh, that was a great platform cancel. Was, Inui got fooled for a second, and Trello had time to react. And the typical F air to Nair. That's a great Lucario tactic. Usually guaranteed damage. Com and I'll be back, kids. Now, good, good glide by Henry to get away from the horror sphere. Um, but he's, he's in trouble now. He's going to have to do his best to bring a great, another great platform cancel by Trela. Hey, how's it going, Scott? Uh, boss is here. Yeah, you guys all know me, my boss, that little Luigi guy. And, and uh, uh, I believe this is cool, right? Yeah, this is uh, this is the first game of Inui vs. Trail. This is winner semifinals. I, I would think. And most of the viewers know by now these are bracket pools. So this is the winner semifinals of the oh, bracket pools. Great tech by Trailer. I would think Lucas, aka Inui, has a lot of Luke and Mario experience fighting Zuko, but I really don't know. Zuko hasn't played recently. He's all about that Marvel. Yep, and, and Zuko, Zuko is actually here, he did not enter the tournament. Yeah, he's just um, here for 
shits and giggles. We got Trella off stage. I can tell you, Zuko is still quite good, but Tre Trella has definitely surpassed uh, Zuko. And uh, as with all discussions of top of the characters, I'm sure people in the stream will talk about like who's better, Lucario with, with Lucario, Junebug, or, or Trella. And I really think they have their own distinct styles. I, honestly, I think it's Trella has down. Like, I don't want to like break her anything. Junebug hasn't really been putting. He hasn't really been using Lucario recently. Yeah, so I and can't really tell. And the effort isn't there. I mean, June. June has done a lot of crazy things with Lucario. He's beaten Mewtwo oh, King. Um, I mean, June's quite good, but these two are di very, very different. Um, so a great glide cancel to grab by Inui. Oh, we got edge guards. Ooh, almost runs to the four smash. Yeah, and I thought he was going to get hit there, but um, either he got lucky or he knew something I don't know. But that was, uh, I was fortunate he didn't dive down into it. You notice Trello's movement is actually really smooth. Like, yeah, look, just look like that. This. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. He, he rarely like messes up anything. Yeah, and his, his his technical errors don't cost him. Like the ones he he makes, he he's yeah. okay because he can respond to it. Oh my, like, that was beautiful. Yeah, exactly. And that just shows you how well he's reading Inui because he he used that counter early, and Inui still hit him. Inui still flustered from last match. Oh, double force smash doesn't connect. I don't know whether to call that a gimmick or a mind game or a tie. I don't know. A good speedy recovery by Trela. I've never seen someone make such good use of Lucario's up -beat that does absolutely nothing. Oh, we got a forward smash. Yep. And anyway, can, can, can't keep a flying pressure to shield. He's got to find a way to get into that shield and get a grab. Yeah, we all know how Lucario has that. Oh, I'm powerful factor. Oh, and good force A little smash. lilac cruise. Oh, and another oh. a perfect smash the eye by Trela. That F air would certainly killed him. Oh, now he's gonna take the stock. He got even stocks right now. Lucario's pretty weak, but makes it easy to combo right now. And bad there by Inui. Trela read it easily. Oh. I've never really seen anyone use dash attack as well as Trela does. Oh, double power shield. That's just how te uh, technical. I mean, I honestly, I'm not sure I've seen a player be this technical in Brawl with with a non-Meta Knight character. Man, it must be Diddy Kong, but you could be right. This is this is blowing my mind right now. It's not every day you get to see something like this. It's mainly just MKs. Yeah, and normally Trela like is very good, but he's not like the top player of Texas that we always talk about. We normally we talk about G, G Nas, we talk about Ultimate Razor, but Trela's kind of had this shadow. Um, and he was going to Impulse to prove himself with a Mennonite Band tournament. Couldn't go, had some misfortune. And he is here at SKTAR to prove himself, and he is doing a great job of it right now. Exactly. Right now we got a we got a good lead right now, about a hundred percent lead or more. And Inui, one thing I think Inui could benefit from, he he is not gliding um, at all, which. You would think, oh, what, well, gliding's predictable, but you have to set him up to, to read something. You have to get some kind of uh, bait on him. Because if you just do the same yeah. things over and over and they're all blockable, then... And your opponent's just going to catch on. Right, and then and jumps right into that. Jumps right in the aura sphere. So the glide attack's very good against Lucario if you angle it up. It requires good spacing, um, Whoa. but it's very good. Now, uh, almost a perfect read by Trilla. And a perfect run read. He just well, ran through the roll and grabbed it. It's like we're just watching a combo field. And Yui stock just going away like and he really did. fast before everyone's eyes. And again, this is when Lucario is the most dangerous. Uh, I should mention that other than RJ and Tony T who is out, um, RJ will be playing in bracket tomorrow. I don't think there's any other Lucario players here. So he is the sole rep. And RJ does side Meta Knight, so he's not a complete Lucario main. So if you're a Lucario fan in the stream, uh, this is your boy. I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're cheering right now. You want to watch this kid. You want to watch all his matches. Like good Nair by Trello. Charging the Aura Sphere. Oh, and oh, he just air dodges right into it. Oh, it's a good DI at least. Oh, and the red. Another one. King. Mewtwo King sitting there saying, time him out. Might be. When he's down an entire 129%. Oh, 
Oh, Ninja King for best troll right now. Might be a little too late for a timeout, Scott. And I don't think we'll see any timeout. Well, Orion's here, but oh, no. other than that, I don't know if we'll see any timeouts with a 10 minute timer. Um, and I, I think Chibo's run a longer timer before and he didn't have any timeouts. So I'm not, I'm not sure. No, you haven't, okay. Oh, Yo, this, this is incredible. I think um, the only, Chibo said he didn't do it. I think the only tournament I know of that ran 10 minute timer were the Concentrate series that Doom and Dean Brandon ran. Um, oh, the Uprise Storm is running as well. I, I honestly don't remember. And, hey, Chibo, do you know if we had any timeouts in those uh, tournaments? Oh. And that's going to be the set 2 0. Uh, the great, great Trella. play by Trela. He's, he's amazing play by Trela. All around amazing player. Tra Trela is, is, is phenomenal, really. I, I, I'm very impressed. I, 